Hi, this is Amir Qutub from Enterprise Monkey and today I want to talk about a fundamental mistake that we all do with our websites. And unfortunately, the people who we rely on for advice are web developers, our digital agencies, marketing firms, they all commit the same mistake. So we belong to a generation which have seen transition from paper-based brochures, banners to websites and social media marketing. But the problem is that, that we often see websites as an online version of paper-based brochures. So when we ask our web developer to develop a website for us, they ask, what do you want in your website? And then we start with, all right, I need a home page for my website uh, with beautiful images, very good slideshows, some amazing colors. I need an about, about us page with a, a, a beautiful photograph of mine. Uh, I need some pages on my services and then a contact us page which provides my contact details. It's not your mistake. Probably the, the question that your digital agency is asking is wrong. It's not about what do you want. It all starts from why. Why do you want a website? Why do you need a website? What is the purpose of having a website for your business? Well, we see websites to have only two main purposes. The first is to acquire new customers. In case of not-for-profits, it can be acquire new supporters or stakeholders and engage existing ones. So, the purpose of a website is not to replicate your brochure in an online, in online form. The purpose of website is not to serve as a marketing brochure. Your website is a lead generating machine. It's a sales channel. And it all comes down to revenue. So websites are an excellent sales channel if they are used properly and they can help you increase your revenue. So my question to you is that if you have a website, how much revenue per month do you get from your website? Is your website even focusing on acquiring new customers or engaging existing ones? Well, we work with a lot of businesses and I know that 80% of businesses and their website do not focus on acquiring new customers or engaging existing ones. So they do not create revenue. There are only 20% of businesses of their or websites who actually focus on acquiring new customers and engaging existing one, who are actually using websites to its full potential. And the purpose of website or utility of website is not to act as a banner or as a brochure or as a marketing flyer. It's more than that. Website allows you to generate leads which can be converted into sales, which can be used to increase your revenue. So if your website is not giving you leads, it's not helping you to acquire new customers or engage existing ones, it means you are losing on a big revenue stream. So if, you're, if, if you have, and it, it doesn't matter what business do you have, you know, even if you own a, 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 a cleaning business or a pet sitting business or a babysitting business or you own a big um, multinational uh, manufacturing organization. Website is a sales channel for each and every organization out there. It's just about how you use it. So if your website is not earning revenue for you and if your website had the potential to earn $1,000 per month and you invested some money two years ago in a website, right? You have already lost 12 multiplied 
by 2 multiplied by $1,000, which is $24,000 worth of sales. With a very simple fundamental mistake that you are not treating website as a sales channel, you are treating website as a marketing brochure. So in my next video, I will talk about how you move from this 80% to these 20% people who actually generate revenue and continuous revenue through, through their websites, who pay the same amount to develop their website, sometimes less amount, and still get continuous revenue stream through their websites. And, and in my next video, I'll talk about how your websites can actually help you reach your target market you know, is your website reaching, reaching your target market? Really? And how can you attract those people to come onto your website and then engage them, keep them engaged with the content and ultimately capture their details? How are you capturing the details of the people who are visiting your website? And measure that. Because if you can't measure it, you cannot manage it. And once you reach your target market, attract them, engage them, capture them, measure them, and create or generate very validated leads, you can actually convert them into real sales. Thank you so much for now, and stay tuned for more videos.